Aloha everybody, this is Logan Bowles and Kalepi Lea. We're going to be talking about how to automate Excel functions. There was an article done by Jeff Lenning in the Journal of Accountancy in January 2005. Uh, basically it's talking about macros and some of the key concepts in the article um, talk about how simple they are. Um, it also mentioned that it can save you a lot of time when performing really repetitive tasks and we'll give you an example later. Um, and then third, it talked about how powerful they were in uh, increasing your work output. So we'll go ahead and start with Excel now. Um, you need up in your ribbon a tab called Developer. So to get to a Developer, you just click on your Office button here. You can go into Excel Options, and then you can click on Show Developer tab in the ribbon. Once you've hit OK, your Developer uh, tab will show up here in the ribbon. Let's go ahead and click on that now, and we'll get started. So you can see here um, you have the option to record a macro. When we go ahead and click on that, it brings up this little box where you get to name your macro. And for this uh, example, we're going to go ahead and create a personal budget. So we'll just name it personal budget. And we have to do an underscore because it doesn't let you um, use other words like uh, multiple words or spaces I guess. So personal budget and the hot key that we will choose um, budget we'll just use B. It's easy to remember. Um, you can do any any combination of buttons that you want. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and save it in this workbook. Um, other options you have would be to save it in a new workbook or your personal macro workbook which saves all your macros to one workbook. Um, so you can use them in all your different uh, workbooks, but we just want to do it in this one. And then we'll describe it as it brings up our uh, brings up our personal budget. Okay, and now we just need to click OK. Okay, so now that we're recording a macro, um, we can go ahead and type in anything that we want, and the macro should record it. So we'll go ahead and start off personal uh, budget for the month of, and then we'll leave that blank because we want to use this um, for different months. Now we can go ahead and record, say, our income. Okay, so income we'll have from maybe wages, um, any interest and maybe other miscellaneous um, I don't know sources maybe we sell stuff on eBay sometimes our grandma's old junk um, and then we're gonna have expenses <coughs> such as tithing uh, utilities yeah rent um, tuition um, groceries and that's enough for now, uh, for this example. So we've put all these things in, <clears throat> and now we're going to go ahead and stop our macro recording. And once we've recorded the macro, then we can go ahead and execute it. And there's a few ways to do it, and uh, Kalepi is going to go ahead and explain how you use a macro after you've created one. So Lok can just show you how to create a macro. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to execute the, the macro. Uh, very simple. Uh, we have two ways we can execute it. First, um, uh, we can use the uh, hotkey that we uh, put in, like the Control D. Uh, but let me first um, go ahead and delete this. So, you can, this is one way you can uh, use the hotkey by pressing Control um, B which is bring up uh, our personal budget for the month and uh, other way you can use it um, I'm going to show you let me delete this first if you see if you go to uh, developer and then you go insert you press on, uh, insert and see this button right here you press on that button uh, and then you can um, we'll bring up the, uh, this one, this um, dialog box. Now you have to click on um, 
the marker name, which is the personal budget, and click OK. Right, so let me rename um, this button right here. Personal. Go ahead and stretch it out. I'm gonna click right here. If you click on this button, it will bring it up. So basically, I just show you the two ways. Very simple to use. Um, uh, like I say, the first step is to use the hotkey that you uh, that we put in, like we put in B, Control P, and also use this um, button right here. And so, um, like Log can say. Uh, Using macro uh, will, will help us save a lot of times, which is one of the key concepts that we learned from these articles. And also, it's very simple to use. Anyone can use it. You don't have to be an expert. And also, it will increase uh, the work uh, output. And so, that's the conclusion of our uh, video. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys learned uh, a bunch of stuff. Mahalo.